What's up, outsiders? It's the holiday season, and I've got some great gift ideas for the hiker, backpacker, and camper in your life. I'll start with some of the stocking stuffer items and work my way up to some of the bigger ticketed items. I've included links to all of these products in the description below. Some of them will take you to Amazon, and if you buy them, I'll get a small commission, won't cost you anything. But if you can find any of these products at your local gear shop, go buy from them first. They're always there when you need that last minute item an hour before you're leaving for a trip. So go support your local gear shop first. We've got a lot of things to cover, so let's dive right in. First up is the GSI Outdoors Coffee Mug. This thing is super light, only weighs three and a half ounces, holds 17 ounces of liquid, and it has this nice neoprene outside to keep your coffee warm. It's also got a spill resistant top. I recommend this so much that I have to tell people to get a different color other than blue. There's seven of them because I've gone to campsites and there's been like 15 blue mugs and nobody knows whose is whose. Something every backpacker should have is a fixed blade knife. This is the Mora Knife Companion. It's a four inch stainless steel blade and it costs just over $20. It's super durable and super sharp. I use it to cut my food. I also use it to split wood. I have several friends that have this knife and we all can't believe the quality for the price. The next item are Goo Energy Gels. These are great lightweight snacks. Each one of these is about 100 calories. You can buy them individually or in 24 packs. There's an indulgent pack and a fruity pack. I love all of the flavors. And there are 100 calories and they are really easy to eat. You just rip it off and slurp it in. And they also provide other essential things like amino acids, sodium, and some of them have caffeine. Just if you do buy this for your hiker, tell them not to put it in their pocket after they've eaten it. Uh, inevitably, you don't eat all of the gel in there, and as it warms up in your pocket, it gets pretty gross. And while we're talking about food, my new favorite snack are these Honey Stinger Energy Chews. A serving size is 100 calories, but this packet actually contains two servings, and like the Goo Energy Gels, they replenish things like electrolytes. You can buy them individually or in variety packs. My favorite flavor is the fruit smoothie because it contains three different flavors, cherry, orange, and berry. And these are just a fun snack for the trail. This thing just doesn't breathe. It's getting hot in here. And just a quick note, if you're finding value in this video, consider clicking that like button because it really does help this video and my channel grow. Although the gels and chews will replenish your electrolytes, there's nothing like a product that's designed to replenish your electrolytes to put in your water bottle. And your hiker is gonna thank you on a hot day. My two favorite are Liquid IV and Nun Hydration. Liquid IV comes in these individual packets and it's a powder that you're gonna drop in your water bottle. Nun comes in this pill bottle case and they're actually little tablets that you're gonna drop right into your water bottle. My favorite flavor of Liquid IV is definitely the acai berry. And I tend to also like the uh, tri berry in the Nun tablets, but there's tons of different flavors and it's an essential thing for every hiker. And just like electrolytes are essential for a backpacker, so is coffee. And my favorite way to brew coffee on the trail is these coffee brew buddies. They're really lightweight, very simple to use, inexpensive. You can pick up two of these for like 10 bucks. All you do is you put your coffee grounds in here, place it on top of your mug, and then pour hot water on top and it brews a great cup of coffee. Another essential item for a hiker or backpacker is cordage. And my go-to product is called Zing It. It's a Dyneema-based rope and it's super light and super strong. I use it for everything from ridge lines to clothes lines to when I need to hang a bear bag over the top of a tree. You can pick up a spool of this for like $30 and it's gonna last your hiker for a long, long time. Every hiker and backpacker should have a good headlamp. Lack of illumination is actually the number one reason for search and rescue in the Adirondacks. I've been a big fan of the Nightcore products. This is the NU25 and the NU25 Ultralight. They have a little bit different bands. And I've had the original version of these for several years, and I absolutely love it. And the new version is not only lighter and brighter, it's also more versatile. So 
I think I'm gonna like these and so will your hiker. Another product I love to light up my campsite and tent are these Lucy lights. They're uh, solar powered and inflatable and has multiple LEDs that you can put at different brightnesses. It's great to hang up in a tent or a lean-to or just put on your picnic table for some extra light. They deflate and pack down into a very small size. It's perfect for backpacking. One of my favorite purchases this year was the Sven saw. This saw is legendary. A buddy of mine brought this on a camping trip and after I used it, I had to have one. This is the 15 inch version and it weighs about 11 ounces and is about $50. And it just rips through wood like you wouldn't believe. This saw blade is ultra sharp. It's very lightweight, easy to use, and you can process a ton of wood to keep a fire going through the night. Your backpacker or camper will really thank you for it. And it just pulls apart and collapses down. I gotta be very careful with this blade. And um, gets to be about the size of tent poles, so it's very easy to just throw in a backpack. And since we're talking about staying warm in the cold, my next two items will help with that. The first one is this get out gear down puffy blanket. It's super lightweight, will compress way down. It's great to uh, take on a summer backpacking trip when it's too warm for a sleeping bag or adds a little extra insulation on a cold night to your sleeping bag. And it's also great to use around the fire. Um, since it's so lightweight, you can still take it with you even if you had a sleeping bag. And what I like about this and what my wife really likes about this is it has snaps at the top. So you can actually wear this like a poncho around the fire, but it's not a Snuggie. The second product to keep you warm are these down booties from Outdoor Vitals. If you're like me and you get cold feet, these are a game changer. It's miserable to sleep with cold feet and these have made all the difference for me. They're super lightweight. They pack down to almost nothing and they're essential for every cold weather trip I take. So those were the stocking stuffers and the middle of the road priced items. Now we're gonna go on to some of the bigger ticketed items. And this past year, my wife and I got into birding and we were looking for a good pair of binoculars and they're pretty expensive. And then we went on a birding hike with the author of this book, The Backyard Bird Sanctuary. His name is Alan Baskowitz. And he recommended this pair of binoculars to us. They're from Celestron, they're the Outland X's. And they're about $70, which is a fraction of the price of some other ones. And we've been very happy with them. We've taken them out in the field. We look at our birds in our backyard and they're real clear, real durable, they're waterproof. You can even throw them in your backpack and not worry about it. The number one piece of gear I recommend to both new and expert hikers are trekking poles. Not only do they provide additional stability, they allow you to move faster with confidence and help with fatigue. You can pick up a decent set of poles for like 50 or $60, but I recommend Lakey poles. They're not the cheapest, but they are the best and they're worth every penny. If you've never heard of Lakey, they're a German company with a long pedigree in ski poles. And what's cool is their North American headquarters are right here in Buffalo, New York. I have a set of their Kumbu lights. These are aluminum poles that come with a lifetime warranty. They run about $119. And like I said, they're worth every penny and these poles are rock solid. Your hiker is gonna love them. The next big ticket item is the Jetboil Minimo. This isn't the cheapest jet boil on the market. This will run you about $150, but in my opinion, it's the best jet boil because it's so flexible. It's got a regulated burner, this great wide mouth, and also has these solid handles. I did a complete review on this and I'll link to that below, but I think this would be a favorite gift to any backpacker. And finally, the most expensive item, the Garmin Instinct 2 Solar Smartwatch. I have the first version of this watch, the Instinct Solar, and I absolutely love it. I use it daily. I use it on the trail to track my progress, to navigate, to figure out my elevation and pace. I use it daily to track my steps and heart rate, and I also use it for all of my gym workouts. If you want to be the number one gift giver for your hiker or backpacker this year, get them the Instinct 2 Solar smartwatch. And if you can't decide on any of these things, I would consider buying your hiker a membership to a local conservation or hiking club, like the Adirondack Mountain Club, the Finger Lakes Trail Conference, or your local Audubon Society. 
These organizations send out great publications and often have member-only hiking and outdoor events. Plus, they do a lot of great things for the environment and wilderness areas. Or consider supporting Outside Chronicles by buying a t-shirt. We've got some great hiking-related designs. You could buy us a coffee or just subscribe to our channel and like this video. So there's 15-ish items for your hiker, backpacker, or camper that I know that they're gonna love. I own and use these items regularly, so I wouldn't recommend them otherwise. And I wanna just wish you a happy holiday, embrace the cold, and I'll see you guys outside.